What's up, gang? Welcome to another episode of 16 Steps. Today, we're going to be talking about the sequencer section on the Roland JP08. Here we go. Okay, so we're here today with the Roland JP08. And before we get started, why don't you go down there and subscribe. Uh, give me some likes if you like this stuff. We are going to power up. And today we have our uh, MIDI in. It is connected to my controller keyboard and we're going to select a patch and we're going to be talking about the sequencer today so if you notice down here to the lower right there's uh, three buttons there's upper lower there's dual and then there is manual and then here you'll see that there's a uh, if you press both of these buttons at the same time you go into sequence mode and this button begins to blink this button is also your start and stop so as soon as we hit start we'll see that the the pattern is sequencing through cycling through and you can see the step that it's on and you can uh, if you're just using the jp08 on its own you can just hit you can just hit buttons and if uh, there was a and if there's a, a note value there it will store the note value you can also select note value here And also, this is the, uh, the gate length for each individual note step. And if you wanted to tie notes, you hit the first note and you hit the second note. Very cool, right? So for this, I am going to um, go ahead and input some other notes using my keyboard. And the way to do that is so you hold down the chiclet where you want the note to appear, and then you press the key on your keyboard, and it will record the note at that value. Okay, so we'll stop that. And the way that you save the pattern is you press and hold dual. You'll see that the one is lit because that is the, that is the sequence that we're on. We're gonna press and hold that button. And once it begins to blink, the uh, sequence is saved. It's important to note that the sequence is stored separately from the patch. So you're able to jump out of say the sequencer mode and let's see let's get it going you can jump out of the sequencer mode and switch the patch so these are going to sound different depending on what what patch is playing with it right but the important part is to remember that it's it's stored and this the uh, sequence is separate from the patch um, if this button is blinking you're in the sequencer side of things and if it's not blinking you're in the the synth side of things as far as like these uh, button combo presses uh, right now we're just talking about the sequencer so we are gonna uh, I'm gonna show you very quickly some of the different functions that this has so you access these functions by pressing manual and you'll see these buttons light up um, the first button is um, the length so you can see that the length is only 12 steps right now and if we wanted to make it a 16 step sequence, it's just as easy as selecting that number. So 16 step sequence. Twelve step sequence. Okay, and then if you press and hold manual and hit the two button, this is the shuffle amount. So if you can think of the shuffle as uh, the pushing or pulling of the notes. So uh, negative shuffle value is gonna pull the even numbered notes. So two, four, six, eight, it will pull those uh, closer to the beat. And if you have a higher shuffle value, it will push 
those even numbered steps uh, closer to the, the beat after it. So let's see what this sounds like. So that's what our sequence sounds like, like that. Um, if you press and hold manual and then hit the three button, this is the note value. So you can see here, this is set to uh, there. Let's see, this is 32nd note, which works in kind of a weird way. Um, and then there is the 16th note step. So that's each note is 16th note in one bar. This is 16th note triplet, and this is going to be 8th note triplet, which gives us that 3-4 feel that we're... So the other, the other thing is when you hold down the manual, you'll notice that there's these over here as well. And then seven does the, uh, this is like note, like the, uh, the direction of the steps. So this is normal. This is gonna be like your normal scrolling through, right? So you can see there's like a number of different ways that it does it. It's like uh, normal, then there's like, it only does the even numbers or it'll only do the odd numbers and then it'll be like only evens and then only odds, blah, blah, blah. It's just different ways of like sequencing through. That's like one of the, one of the base features of like a step sequencer is to be able to do this. Um, what is that other button? Um, that is gonna be the step mode, so like if it is, if you have rests in there, so let's see. So we'll go ahead and hit 16. This is the normal mode, and then if you press this one, it will skip those rest notes. So, that's the way that works. Um, if you press and hold the dual button, uh, th you can change the, the note length for all of them. If you move the, the fader here, this is C1 and C2. Cool. Okay, and the last thing is, is that when your sequence is playing, you can switch the sequence, of course. So this is just changing the uh, the note values of each of the steps. So you can see like when it's playing back now.
that's pretty much it for the sequencer on this bad boy. Uh, see you on the other side of this. Okay, so that is it for that sequencer section on the JP08. I hope that you found this useful. Hit me up. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me some likes if you like this stuff. And until next time, peace.